You guys, welcome. Welcome to Audrey's reading area. Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area live at 8 o'clock p.m. Live at 8 o'clock, you guys. L-I-V-E, live at 8. Shout out to my grandbabies, Korea, Sana, David III, and Kaden. I love you. I miss you so much. Um, don't forget, you guys, to click that like button, the share button. Then go on over to YouTube, look for Audrey's Reading Area, and smash that subscribe button for me. Smash it good. Shout out to my cousin again. Um, I haven't spoken to her in so long, Rochelle. Um, shout out to you. And thank you, everybody, for being here. And I am going to, on this Educational Tuesday, I'm going to jump right into the book called The Hungry Thing. The Hungry Thing. This book was mentioned in another book. And I looked for it because it was supposed to be so good. And this thing was actually expensive. I got it for a cheap price, but this book is expensive. It's an older book, The Hungry Thing. It's written by Jan Slepian and Anne Seidler or Seidler. Produ uh, his pictures are by Richard E. Martin. Richard E. Martin. And this is supposed to be good because of the phonics and things like that and teaching kids um, how to read. It says, I want some schman cakes and tickles and hookies and golly pops. So it basically, um, it reiterates the things that when kids are young and they learn phonics and how to print how to uh, blend letters and how to put them all together it kind of reiterates it it makes up words it's like nonsense words that helps you make sure that the child is ask, actually grasping what they are reading because it can't be memorized because these are words that don't make sense so like schman cakes and and golly pops so let's just jump right into this book and see what it does, what it do, what it do. The Hungry Thing. The Hungry Thing. I jumped right on it when I heard about this book and I looked for it. It says, uh, first printing of this book was in February 1971. 1971. So you can imagine, yes. The oldies are goodies, right? So one morning, you guys are blessed to hear me read this book to you. All right. Very blessed. One morning, a hungry thing. That's, that's my hungry thing. He doesn't look like this hungry thing, but he's a hungry thing too. And I could be that hungry, hungry thing. I'm just saying. One morning, a hungry thing came to town. He sat on his tail. He pointed to a sign around his neck that said, feed me. See, I could be that thing, Audrey, Audrey too, from that play Little Shop of Horrors. Her name, that plant's name was Audrey, named after somebody that, that he likes. So Audrey too, feed me, Seymour, feed me. <laughs> Okay, one morning a hungry thing came to town. He sat on his tail. He pointed to a sign around his neck that said, feed me. The townspeople gathered around to see the hungry thing. What would you like to eat? Asked the townspeople. Schman cakes, answered the hungry thing. Schman cakes, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? So in this game, I know it's a game. Um, so it's actually a rhyming game. So it's actually a rhyming game. So if you um, if you hear him say shmam shmam or shman cakes, what do you think it rhymes with? <sighs> Pancake. So it seems to me like this is a rhyming game. Well, let's jump right in and see. Schman cakes, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? So let's see. Why, dear me, said a wise man, Schman cakes, that's plain. Hmm, that's plain. 
are a small kind of chicken that falls with the rain. Of course, said a cook, schmancakes, I've read, are better to eat when you stand on your head. Hmm. I think, said a little boy, you're all very silly. Schmancakes sounds like fancakes. Sounds like, sounds like, Pancakes to me. So the townspeople gave the hungry thing some. The hungry thing ate them all up. He ate them all up. Then hungry thing pointed to the sign that said, feed me. Feed me. What would you like to eat? Asked the townspeople. Tickles, answered the hungry thing. What do you guys think Tickles rhymes with? Let's see. Tickles, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? Why, dear me, said the wise men. Tickles, you know, are curly-tailed hot dogs that grow in a row. Of course, said the cook. Tickles taste yummy. And you giggle and laugh with ten in your tummy. I think, said the little boy, it's all very clear. Tickles sounds like... Sickles sounds like, sounds like what you guys? Sounds like what? Sickles sounds like pickles to me. Good job, you guys. Sounds like pickles to me. And they gave the hungry thing some. The hungry thing ate them all up. Look at all of that. Sound like pickles to him. Hmm, he's underfed, have some bread, said a lady dressed in red. It seems to me he'd like some tea, said a fellow up a tree. A bit of rice might be nice, said a baby sucking ice. The hungry thing just, just shook his head and pointed to his sign that said, feed me, feed me. <laughs> the townspeople tried again. What would you like to eat? Asked the townspeople. Feet loaf, answered the hungry thing. Feet loaf, cried the townspeople. How do you eat it? What could it be? Feet loaf. Why, dear me, said the wise men. Feet loaf, let's see. Hmm. It's a... Uh, Kind of shoe pudding that grows in a tree. Of course, said the cook, feet loaf tastes sweet and it's eaten by kings when they dine in bare feet. I think, said the little boy, you all ought to know feet loaf sounds like beet loaf. Sounds like what, you guys? Sounds like meat loaf to me. Meat loaf, good job. So the townspeople gave the hungry thing some. The hungry thing ate it all up. He again pointed to his sign that said, feed me. Feed me. Hmm. What would you like to eat this time? Asked the townspeople. Hookies, cry, answered the hungry thing. Hookies, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? Hookies, said the wise man are known in far lands as a special spaghetti to eat holding hands. Hookies, said the cook, are a party dish to serve to a guest if he isn't a fish. I think, said the little boy, I think that it's all very simple. Hookies sounds like lookies, sounds like what you guys, write it in the comment section, hookies, lookies, Sounds like <gasps> cookies to me. Good job, you guys. The townspeople gave the hungry thing some, and he ate them all up. Then he got to his feet. He smiled. He patted his mouth on a line of laundry. He turned around three times. He turned around three times. Is it true? He's all through? Asked the lady dressed in blue. 
Let's all try to say goodbye, said a man with a can. Come again, said some men. But the hungry thing just sat down again, and he pointed to his sign that said, Feed me. Uh-oh. What do you want to eat, asked the townspeople. Golly pops, said the hungry thing. Golly pops, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What could they be? Golly pops. Oh dear me, said the wise man. Golly pops are new. They are cereal shaped like toys and sugar coated too. Children, said the cook. Buy them, buy them, buy the dozens, and trade off the box tops with classmates and cousins. I think, said the boy, y'all ought to hear, golly pops, sounds like dolly pops, sounds like what? Sounds like what? Golly pops and dolly pops sounds like lollipops to me. So the townspeople gave the hungry thing some. The hungry thing ate them all up and he pointed to his sign again. Oh, please, said the people. We've been here all day. Isn't there a quicker way? I think, said the boy, there is. Have some noodles, the little boy asked the hungry thing. Have some noodles? The hungry thing shook his head. He shook his head. Oh, excuse me, I meant to say foodles. The hungry thing smiled and ate them all up. Feed me. <laughs> He's eating up all the noodles. Oh, sorry, the foodles. Just look, said the cook. Let's all try, was the cry. So they all got busy. Have some smellow, they gave him some jello. Have some thread, they gave him some bread. That's right. Have a banana, they gave him a banana. The hungry thing ate and ate. He looked very full. Is there anything more we can give you the townspeople wanted to know? The hungry thing politely covered a hiccup. He thought for a while then, boop, with a smacker he said, boop, <laughs> with a smacker he said, wow, he is just eating and eating and eating. Boop with a smacker, boop with a smacker. What is that, the townspeople asked. The boy whispered to the wise man. The wise man whispered to the cook and the cook gave the hungry thing. Can you guys guess? What rhymed with boop with a smacker? Yes, 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 you got it. Soup with a cracker. <laughs> the hungry thing ate them all up. He smiled. He got to his feet. He wiped his mouth on the cook's hat. Just as he left, he turned his sign around. In big letters, it said, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Aw, what a sweet little book. This is the picture on the back. The end, you guys, the end. So it's all about rhyming, huh? Teaching you guys to learn how to read with rhymes. I love this book, The Hungry Thing. The Hungry Thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for being here and listening to me read fun and exciting, at the same time, educational books like The Hungry Thing. If you want to order it somewhere online, wherever, it's going to be a little expensive. But it's well worth it. It helps you kids learn to read by rhyming. Well, all right, all right, all right. Shout out to my mom who's here. 
as always. Shout out to my friend Victoria and my cousin Ellie, who always, always, always share my videos. Really, really, really appreciate it. And thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for being here. And I will see you again tomorrow live. L I V E. I said L I V E. Live at 8 o'clock. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I'll see ya tomorrow. It's only one day away. One, one, one day away. And I will see you then. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube at Audrey's Reading Area. Yes. And I will, I hope to, I hope to encourage you guys to pick up a book and read on your own. But if not, just listen to me read. Let my, my stories, uh, my readings just put you to sleep. Read it when it's time to go to bed. All right, all right, all right, you guys. I will see you again tomorrow live. L-I-V-E. Live at eight, live at eight, live at eight. See you soon.